is a sign of things to come outside the centre from Livingston as Chiquito prepares to change into Ola's iguanas. A worried Wessel then mum says she's at her wit's end. Leading Scottish Performing Arts Institution, the Scottish Institute, the SI, has launched one of the country's first artist-led contemporary dance degree courses. Festive family photos at Geddes House, Studio 31. It's a sign of things to come outside the centre, Livingston, as Chiquito prepares to change into Las Iguanas. The big table group was granted permission from Wesselian Council to change the signage to Las Iguanas, which is known for its boldly spiced Latin American dishes, cooked from scratch, and range of premium cocktails. It opens next Friday, the 22nd of November. If you can't wait until then, check out the website below. A worried West Lothian mum says she's at her wit's end after waiting since April for West Lothian Council to deal with mould growing rapidly behind her kitchen units caused by a leak coming from the bathroom that the council had fixed. The mum from Bathgate told West Lothian News that her five children have had many absences from school this year with sore heads and constant coughs. And last week, her 10-year-old son was admitted to hospital with pneumonia. He was put on two different types of antibiotics, she added. His whole body broke out with the pneumonia. A worker from the council came out on the 11th of April and was supposed to treat it, but he didn't touch it at all. My husband asked if he should clean it, and the worker said he shouldn't touch it, that they would need to do it. The worried mum added, I've put in two complaints to the council and still not had a reply. I called the council and an inspection was meant to be done last week, the day after I called them. No one appeared. I'm at my wit's end. We started to draw around my son's rash, but it rapidly kept spreading for days and was a hive-like rash linked to mycoplasma pneumonia. Leading Scottish Performing Arts Institution, the Scottish Institute, the SI, has launched one of the country's first artist-led contemporary dance degree courses. With a base in West Lothian, at the former tax office, Livingston, the SI is set to welcome its first cohort in September 2025, making it the only higher education provider in Scotland to offer a course that is led by professional dance artists specifically tailored to contemporary dance. The degree course will be spearheaded by Scotland's pre-eminent contemporary dance artists, Errol White and Davina Given, who will serve as artists in residence and course leaders. With more than 25 years of experience collaborating as performance artists, White and Given have built an acclaimed body of work that engages audiences on a physical and emotional level. They said, Embedding White and Given as artists in residence within the Institute is a rare opportunity within the educational world for practising artists and students to evolve together. Passion and sharing knowledge lies at the heart of White and Gavin, and we are extremely proud to play an integral role in developing a new generation of dance artists. Looking to have some festive photographs of the family this year? We know just the place. Down at Studio 31, Geddes House, a studio is set and ready to make this Christmas a Christmas to remember. All are welcome, from families to couples to pets. Our furry helper Freya here approves. Come get your Christmas family photos done at Studio 31. Remember this Christmas with Condor Entertainment. The leader of West Lothian Council has called for a complete rethink on sentencing of thugs who attack police and fire crews in the wake of bonfire night violence. Speaking at this month's meeting of the Livingston South Local Area Committee, Councillor Lawrence Fitzpatrick said he found the hostilities around November 5th depressing. 
Councillors thanked fire officers for their work in the run-up to the event with Maria Macaulay, saying there had been a massive change in areas like Ladywell. Officers in West Lothian are asking residents to be vigilant following a number of thefts of vehicles in the area. Between Wednesday the 30th of October and Thursday the 7th of November 2024, officers have received reports of six vehicles having been stolen from Livingston, Bathgate, Broxburn and Whitburn. It is believed that each of these vehicles were targets of keyless thefts. Detective Sergeant John Irving said, We have officers investigating these thefts with the priority of detecting crime and disrupting this criminal activity. Detectives are appealing for information after a break-in and an attempted break-in at two properties in East Calder between 5pm on Tuesday the 12th of November and 7am on Wednesday the 13th of November a house on Castle Crescent was broken into around 2.30am on Wednesday the 13th of November. There was an attempted break-in at a house on Blair Road. The suspects were disturbed and ran out the rear garden into Sandylands Lane, then on to Sandylands Road. They were last seen entering a white Volkswagen Golf estate car that was parked on Blair Road. Hi, I'm Kelly Young and you have been watching BLTV News.